Activity 19. So far, you've used your drawing to produce sketches of designed objects, but drawing can do other things. It can communicate. Activity 19 is about you defining an activity and communicating it through drawing. Let me give you two of my examples. If I were to say, how do you serve up a pizza? I may have to illustrate that by saying, look, you actually buy your pizza in a box which looks a little like this. When you take it out, it's an oval object, but it's covered in a cellophane wrapper. That needs to be discarded. So I need to show that being taken off, first of all, before I can put my pizza in the oven at a certain temperature from which it can emerge nice and baking hot with all the delicious strips of vegetables or meat on top of it. So I'm using drawing in this activity to talk someone through a series of events. Now if those drawings were good enough I wouldn't even need to explain it and so we get the roots of many of our instruction manuals that work across different countries. Let me have another example. For example we buy books of stamps. This is a book of four first-class stamps into here. How am I going to explain to somebody what to do with those uh, with them? So I might show a close-up of one stamp as if it were peeling away from the book, as if to suggest that was peeling away. And what do you do with it then? Well, you take it and you apply it onto your envelope that's got an address on it, and you put it in that position. So I might want to use an arrow to show exactly where that went onto there. And this one might have come out from here. What do you do with it after that? Well, we can use our oval techniques to do some sort of caricature of a letterbox and suggest now our letter goes into the post box there. Your activity in activity 19 is to devise a simple sequence of events from a situation you're familiar with and use your sketching to compose a series of images that convey an activity. Over to you. Mm -hmm.